welcome you to the Faculty of Law. I'm standing on what we think of as a secret terrace and let me explain the point of that. Behind me is Hong Kong Harbour, in front of me is the Faculty of Law's Conference Centre where we hold seminars and major conferences for local and academics from around the world. This place here is something of an indicator of the kind of thing that you'll find in our Master of Laws program in Corporate and Financial Law. We deal with what lawyers and academic scholars discuss as black letter law, traditional law, contract law, this kind of thing, the type of thing that we write about in books like this. But we also relate to what's behind me. For many years, for generations, the harbour has been something of a symbol of Hong Kong as an international financial centre. And both in terms of the curriculum, the research that we do, and the teaching that we do, all of these things come together. So this is a confluence of academic and professional scholarship, things which involve both practitioners and students from regulators and banks, law firms, and anyone with a particular interest in financial law and in the intersection of those things. What I'd like to do in the next few minutes is say a little bit about our CFL Corporate and Financial Law Programme and invite you to join us for a celebration. This coming academic year is the 20th anniversary of the programme. In that time we've had literally hundreds of, of students graduate, many of them who now occupy distinguished positions both in Hong Kong, elsewhere in China, and indeed throughout the world. And what we encourage you to do is to think about applying to, to join that group of distinguished alumni and current graduates, both as individuals or as a law school. But there's no doubt that Hong Kong U is the leading law school in Hong Kong to regulating financial intermediaries for these kinds of things. What we try to do is to bring a whole series of traditional law and non-traditional law to bear in a way that maybe only five or six other leading international law schools do around the world. Maybe there's three or four in the United States, in Europe, one perhaps in Australia. We are always consistently ranked amongst those law schools, but we have something else which unfortunately it's a misty day so you can't see the hills behind me, but to the north what we have is an engagement with the developing law and corporate governance of all of China. And that's something which is unique amongst our peer-ranked international law schools. Over the next year, we're going to be celebrating two anniversaries. The 20th anniversary of our research institute, IFL, as we call it, the Asian Institute of International Financial Law. A lot of what IFL scholars do and visiting scholars whether they're involved in conferences, writing academic journal articles and the like, a lot of that informs the work and curriculum design. And our CFL program's 20th anniversary is a chance to reflect and see how successful we've been, how we can int introduce innovations into the curriculum. For many years, the tradition in law schools was for students at undergraduate or postgraduate level to sit in lecture theatres, take notes, listen to people like me talking for hours on end. And now, although we haven't abandoned that completely, we do try to engage with our students in a much more innovative and active way. Whether it's through projects, whether it's through operating commercial law clinics, whether it's engaging in giving advice to startup companies, all of these things represent the future and what we'll be doing in the CFL's 20th year period. So what I'd like you to do is to think about not just learning black letter law at this level, books like this which some people find intimidating, but to think about how to apply those kinds of skills in a broader setting. Thinking about transnational contracts, not just dry Hong Kong law, or English law, New York law contracts. Think about the way that deals come about, what makes them work, why the law help, all of those things you'll find with us. We are accepting applications for the coming 
academic year in September, coming as a part-time student, as a full-time student, whether you're from a legal background formally, whether you're simply interested in, in expanding and amplifying your knowledge of commercial law, these are all things that we do. And you'll join uh, a, a, a student group of people from not just Hong Kong, but from elsewhere in China, from Southeast Asia. So please think about the kinds of things that you're looking for. And if you're looking for a challenge in terms of that mix of traditional and non-traditional law, we're the place to come to. Thank you for watching.